All right, Cancer. Let's get another energy. Let's get another read for you. I am going through and trying to use different tarot decks to get different energies. Yeah, the meanings are all the same, but the energies look different when it comes to the cards. So that is what I'm, excuse me, doing. So I'm going through and I am trying to use as many decks as possible to get the different energies for you. Yes, I will clarify with probably the older cards that I've been using. <laughs> but yeah, that's where I'm at. These cards are hard because I rarely use these. I don't even think I've ever done these in the ring. But anyway, like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notifi notification so you can be notified for when I come on. <laughs> I'll pull this over. I'll turn it over after we pull the rest of the cards. But yeah, that is where it is. I'm trying to get different energies, energies to see what you got going on, what you're working on, what you're trying to fix. So these cards turned over. Let me see if anything else turned over. <clears throat> All right. And the seven of wands. Well, because I did it this way, is the bottom of the deck this way or is it that way? I think it's this way. There you go. Seven of Wands at the side, the real bottom of the deck. However, we're going to go ahead and turn it over. So, Cancer, what is it that you're working on? What is it that you got going on? What is it that you're, you're, you're manifesting? Whatever. Let's see what's happening. We have the Magician manifesting. I did say that, right? What is it? We're manifesting in the Magician energy. The man, the magician, <laughs> the magician energy is using uh, using knowledge to manifest change. So you're manifesting change. So what kind of change are you manifesting? Ace of Wands energy, boom. You know, manifesting, having the courage, having the, uh, to go after your desires and being positive. Is that the energy that you're in? The uh, Ace of Wands energy also says, let your path be guided by your creative gifts, your passions, and your drives. So you could be manifesting something when it comes to your creativity. We also have the Six of Wands energy. That's a good thing because it's good news and it's success and it's victory. So in the process of you manifesting and uh, going after your path, um, going down and um, actually... Hold on, I'm thinking my son's calling me, but my sons are playing video games. Okay. Uh what I was saying, after you manifest in uh, this change, you are uh, being guided to go after your creativity. And in the Six of Wands, there's victory and success. We have the Judgment card. The Judgment is a new phase begins. So once you go ahead and start manifesting this change and going after the gifts that you want, there it is. There's endings. Endings that make rebirth, and this is a death and energy. Endings that make transformation and rebirth possible. So look. I'm telling you, same cards, different decks, right? It's basically saying the same thing. Once you get into the energy of using your knowledge to manifest change, then you turn around and you start working on your gifts. You start working on your true gifts and your passions. And in turn, you have victories in success. And with the judgment card being here, it says it's a new phase beginning. But judgment also says free your, yourself from whatever holds you back and embrace your true calling. Be, be reborn. Shed your old life and live according to your higher truth. And so in turn of doing that, that's where the ending is. The death card says, hold on, let me find it. Oh, embrace change and let go of what no longer serves you. Death is not the end. It It is transformation that brings new beginnings. So here's the thing. Sorry, loud cars. Here's the thing. If you work on yourself, you start to realize the things that were holding you back or the things that you weren't setting boundaries in regards to. This is new change. This is new life. It's new energy when it comes to you doing something different. And at the bottom of the deck... Ace of Swords energy. So the Ace of Swords energy says, seek clarity in a situation. A clear vision is your roadmap to success. So in regards to all of this, you start to see when you start manifesting and using your knowledge to manifest change and you start to be creative and go after the, your dreams and not everyone else's, then, like I said, it's victory and success. There is a new phase that begins and there's endings. New phases bring endings. And that's just that. And then here it is. It's like, you have a clear vision and that's your roadmap to success. So I can go ahead and use this deck. Yeah, I'll go ahead and continue and I'll, okay. So this deck is too big. It's too thick for me to, but I love this deck. It's pretty, it's too thick for me to do it like that. So I have to do it backwards because the cards 
been better this way. I don't know, go figure. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and clarify the magician. And then I'll do a message of love. Because again, once you use your knowledge, and um, to, like I said again, to manifest the change, when you use that energy to be successful or to go after your creative endeavors, then you turn around and doors start opening and some doors start closing. And then people start to disappear because they see that not only are you working on yourself, you're not giving them that the time of the day in regards to them, um, the things that they want. Okay. Um, I'll take it. So we have the Ten of Swords. Yeah. Yeah. Because the Ten of Swords energy, right? Let me put that right there. So the Ten of Swords energy is, again, feeling backstabbed, you know? Feel like you have to make sudden endings. And it feels like you failed yourself when it comes to certain things. We also have the Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles says you can't get the results without first doing the work. Show up, work hard, and keep pushing every day. And in the process of you working on yourself, like I said, the Ten of Swords will feel like there is some type of sudden endings with the Ten of Swords. And... Then we have the Queen of Wands energy. This is confidence. Confidence shines from the inside when you learn, when you love yourself, own your flaws, and rock it without caring what others think. So in that process, that's when you start to understand what it is by using knowledge to manifest change. The Four Swords energy is here, and this is rest, relaxation, but it also was being patient. But she's anxious in the same thing. She's like, okay, I don't know what's, where I'm going to go from here. But then we have the Ten of Pentacles. It's letting you know that with the Ten of Pentacles is happy love and harmony and being carefree once you start working on yourself. So in turn, you see there's an old lady back here, two dogs, a man and a woman and a child. But the Pentacles are coming to her at some point. You know, there could have been issues when it came to how, you know, the stability in her and having financial problems if it was in reverse. But however, it's in the upright. Once you start to manifest change and start working on your creative uh, endeavors, then things start to happen. And then the pinnacles start to roll in. But we have the Page of Swords energy. And the Page of Swords is a quick, sharp mind is your greatest asset. Be always be uh, be. Always be alert, crystal clear, and focus on your perceptions. Because with the Page of Swords energy, you know, you, you have a clear mind and you're open to new experiences and also adventures. So that is when you use your knowledge to manifest change. Then you go with the Knight of Swords energy. Be tough, be ambitious, know what you want and go after it in a single-minded determination. That means not letting anyone stop you in your journey, in your endeavor. So that is what the magician is. So now... Sorry, before I start recording, <laughs> I kind of choked on um, some bread. Not choked on it, but I was drinking, I mean, eating it and it went down the wrong pipe. So I'm finishing my hibiscus tea. There you have it. So the Ace of Wands energy, right? Courage, positivity, going after your desires, your dreams, you know? Um, that's the Page of Wands energy. However, let's clarify the Page of Wands because... All right, I'm not taking these. I'm not taking this, but I'll take this. Ten of Cups energy. So once you start going after your dreams, uh, what happens is that the Ten of Cups comes. Harmony, satisfaction. So same thing as the Ten of uh, Pentacles in so many ways, and it could be love as well. So everything, all, every door starts to open for you when you go after this. This could be family. When you start going after it, I, like I said, the negative energies will start to disappear and go their own way because remember... They want to be considered, sorry, takers and not givers or not doers and not uh, a team, you know, a team player. And so in turn, they're going to say all these negative things. Let's clarify the Six of Wands energy. Let's clarify the Six of Wands energy. All right. The Six of Wands energy comes out with the Four of Cups in reverse. Okay. So the Four of Cups in reverse is that. Once you start having victory, and this is what I was basically saying, there becomes bitterness, there becomes angry, and there becomes, uh, you know, some type of jealousy when it comes to you going after your dreams. And so that is the energy that this is uh, causing, you know, because you're using your knowledge to manifest change. And in turn, you know, the people that you've been around and uh, they start to slowly but surely say, you know, you, you're acting funny, you know, and so people become bitter and angry at you because... Now, there's a new phase beginning for you. Oh, I forgot these were here. And then, 
we have the tower. So yeah, here it is. Death is here, but the tower is um, unexpected endings, you know? So with the tower, it says, um, sometimes you have to tear down the limiting structures you have built for yourself to move forward and rebuild better, stronger and wiser. And so that's what you're doing. So in the process of someone may be saying with the uh, four of cups energy in reverse, you're, you know, you're angry, you know, that, that they're angry. You see the anger and you see the big bitterness. You have to say, you know what? Um, I think it's time, you know, our, our journey has ended right now, but you have to trust in the universe with the two of swords energy. You have to trust in the universe and you have to know that there is going to always be indecisions and there'll be difficulties, but you at that same point have to find the, um, sorry, at that point you have to find, you know, a solution in order to get moved forward in that situation. And then we have the king of pentacles energy, right? So the king of pentacles is, um, you know, it says, sorry, <clears throat> The King of Pentacles says, there's no reward without risk. Create opportunities. Don't be afraid to fail and invest your time wisely. So there you go. That's you ending uh, situations in order for new beginnings. And that um, energy of um, uh, four stores in reverse, some people being angry and bitter because you're deciding to move forward only causes you to have to work hard and know that there's no rewards without risk. Moving up to the top, you know, they always say it gets lonely at the top. It's because you can't bring everybody with you. And then we're going to go ahead and clarify the judgment card. Yeah, they're saying that, you know, some people just can't go. So here it is. You can't throw everybody a life jacket. And everybody isn't going to be happy for your new decisions. That's like if you look at Jay-Z, if you look at 50 Cent, if you look at all the people that who they started with, it wasn't that I'm trying to get rid of you. It's that we've grown apart and now we're not on the same page. You still want to stay in the same energy and I'm moving forward and moving up. And some people will be upset and they'll be mad and they'll feel like um, angry and that they're, they're bitter because you're doing something different, but that's just the way it goes. New phases begin. And then, so let's clarify this judgment card for you, Cancer. Let's clarify the judgment card for you, Cancer. Yeah, because endings make... Uh, Sorry, it makes transformation and rebirth possible. But the judgment card says, okay, first of all, nope. <laughs> I'm not going to take these. Let me think. Forget it. I'll take them. Okay. So let's see what we have here. Yeah, Eight of Wands energy. Uh, well, let's do the King of Wands energy first. So uh, the judgment card comes when it says a true leader and it's a new phase begins. So the true leader leads from the heart and inspires others to do more, dream bigger, and be better. So you probably tried to do that at one point with the people that you had to end uh, this uh, communication or end, not necessarily end all be all, but you had to remove them from this, this cycle in your life. Uh, there comes with communication. And with that communication, you have to say, you know, what it is that you you know what you tried to bring somebody forward and they just became um people felt like they were probably obligated to be around you or be with you or some point of that take what resonates leave what doesn't if this isn't for you take what resonates leave what doesn't so the eight of wands energy is travel is movement and communication not everybody is going to be willing to travel with you to go to the ends of the earth because you know there people are fearful and what people are scared of they uh, turn around and become angry and bitter and negative. But we have the three of wands in reverse. And so the three of wands in reverse is obstacles. There's delays and there's frustration. Everything doesn't happen overnight. So therefore, that is when it comes with the eight of cups energy. So people uh, will soon, <clears throat> and maybe the people that, and this could be with the business. This could be with the loved one. This could be with the lover. But with the three of wands being in reverse, it says that there's opt obstacles and delays and in turn with the Eight of Cups energy in reverse, right? The Eight of Cups says fear of loss and poor timing and uncertain future. So that's when the people actually will start to trickle away and say, yeah, this person is crazy because, you know, you know they, they're going to go into, you know, uh, debt in regards to their dreams, going after their dreams and seeing the things they want. So that's when the negativity and anger starts to, be, to, to set in. But then we have the hangman in reverse, right? And so with the hangman in reverse, <coughs> excuse me, sorry about that. With the hangman in reverse, I feel like I'm going to choke. Uh, 
it says, you know, you had to sacrifice. You had to sacrifice, but the other people may have had lack of control. And also, you were at a standstill when you had to make a decision to walk forward or move forward with the Eight of Cups in reverse energy. Again, Eight of Cups in reverse is, you know, fear of loss and poor timing. You were at an uncertain future. So you were at a standstill with this hangman energy and feel like you had lack of control in this and also that you were sacrificing. But what, it, what did the... Um, King of Pentacles say, there's no reward without risk. Um, it says, uh, create opportunities. Don't be afraid to fail. And then the King, the Queen of Swords is in reverse this time. Now, the Queen of Swords and the upright is uh, stand up for yourself. Always speak your mind and don't take any shit from anyone, right? But the Queen, of, uh, the Queen of Swords in reverse is, you know, feeling like you're at a distance. You had to, pre you had to distance yourself and that you are at some point going to have to speak your mind. But this time it's with a sharp tongue. This time it's saying exactly what it is. You know, I, you know, I, I wanted to, you know, when I supported you, you didn't, you know, you, you were okay with that. But now that I need your support, you're not. And this is where the wheel of fortune in reverse comes in at because the wheel in reverse is basically, I'm telling you, this is driving me crazy. Um, you know, uh, loss of control or negative, uh, being in a negative phase because things aren't happening. And that's why the four of cups is in reverse. Things aren't happening the way you want. So it is kind of making you bitter, but not only that with the three of wands, you know, you know that there's frustration and delays. So the best thing for you to do is to put the energy in the universe and trust with the two of, uh, where was the two of swords here? Put the energy in the universe to trust in the universe and that the tower moments and also with the king of pentacles there's no reward without opportunity there's no reward without risk create opportunities and don't be afraid to fail but then we have the chariot energy here so with the chariot energy being in reverse right the chariot energy is like you know not that i'm being arrogant you could be uh or um carelessness you know but the thing is is that you have to believe in yourself you have to believe in yourself no matter what the situation is. And so in that process, you know, like I said, again, the wheel of fortune in reverse is letting you know that, um, you know, um, the loss of control or the negative uh, phases have to be with you believing. It has to come out with you believing in yourself and not when you hear the naysayer say something, you know, and be in Knight of Wands in reverse energy. So regular Knight of Wands energy is you only live once. Be bold, um, be fearless and do what you love. But the Knight of Wands in reverse uh, basically says that you are impatient and this is causing lots of arguments and anger by the through you or your, you know, the person that you've been dealing with. It's causing lot, lots of anger because uh, they're unsure of the way things will be. And that's where it said that in regards to the, um, uh, I, thought, I thought the moon card was here. Was the moon card here? What was some card here being unsure? I don't know. I thought I saw the moon card, but maybe I didn't. But anyway, the full in reverse is here. So again, let me go back to the Knight of Wands because I don't feel like I explained that. The arguments and being impatient and anger comes from people's energy or it could come from yours. Take what resonates. But with the full being in reverse, the full in reverse is fearlessness. You have to take risks. And you have to be fearless. What it says with the King of Pentacles energy, there's no reward without risk. So create opportunities for everyone. Don't be afraid to fail or lose people in the process of this and invest your time wisely. So again, if this no longer serves you being around these certain people that aren't uh, here to understand your your bottom line or what it is that you got going on. I got my lights on. What it is that you got going on, you got to take your own risk with the full energy. You got to take your own risk. You have to be fearless and sometimes be reckless when it comes to what you believe in, you know? And so that is the energy that's here. Now we're going to go ahead and clarify the death card. We're going to go ahead and clarify the death card. You know, um, this is an energy of, again, you recreating the things that you want hermit. Yeah. So the death card comes with the hermit energy. And so the hermit card is here. And the Hermit is card of Virgo, which it was Cancer, might have energy in there, but the uh, the Hermit card uh, is having, you know, being independent and being aware and also having the wisdom. But the Hermit card also says that, um, let me find it. 
And I like these analogies. That's why I keep using them. That's up here. But, oh, here it is. Excuse me. Sometimes you need to withdraw in order to rediscover your own your own rich inner world through tranquility, meditation, and reflection. So that's where the death card comes in at. Endings to make transformation and rebirth possible. And you have to withdraw with the hermit energy being here. You have to withdraw from all the negativity and the energy of people. The naysayers is basically what it is. And then also getting out of the energy and being in the two of wands energy. But the two of wands came out in reverse. You have to, you know that there's going to be inner conflict and also indifference you know when it comes to you know seeing the fruits of your labor but with the two of wands being in reverse i'm going to go ahead and clarify that you know you have to know that you know the darkest nights produce the brightest stars right um and so and that's my saying that's right here you know the darkest nights produce the brightest stars and if you if you believe in yourself and you yeah six of swords you have to walk away from the things that no longer serve you six of swords energy is new beginnings change or new love but the six of swords also says that um life is life is about the journey not the destination chart your course and trust that better times lie ahead so that's what you have to deal with when it comes to you stepping out on faith and doing the things that you need to do for yourself and that's where the death energy comes at you're stepping out on faith you're working on yourself and in turn Nine of Cups energy. Yeah, the Nine of Cups energy is dreams, enjoyment, and happiness. You're going after your dreams by you stepping out on faith. You're having clarity in regards to why you're doing things, how you're doing things. And now with that being said, I'm going to pull from... Doo -doo -doo -doo. <clears throat> I'm going to try to pull these. I've never used these in regards to um, uh, overall energy. This is called the Numinous Astro Deck and see what it's having and what it's saying. I could pull from a different type of oracle, but I'm going to try this. This is an uh, astrology deck. All right. The card fell out. Let's see what it is. The card is Saturn. I can see it off the ground. So Saturn is wisdom, discipline, structure, time, responsibilities, test, ambition, difficulties, difficulties, restraint, grounding, practical, practicality, self-control, tradition, realism container bones maturity gravity and scaffolding that is saturn the wisdom and i'm going to read what that means Hold on. so this is oh excuse me i've just been kind of saturn kind of laying around wisdom keywords Form, boundaries, barriers, initiation, trial, labor, sweat, pra pragmatism, pragmatism, um, construction, competence, building, pessimism, authority, figures, patriarch, um, organized religion. Hold on. <clears throat> this is Capricorn and Aquarius energy. This is the tenth house. And this is the world card. Didn't we see? Do we have the world card out here? Do we have the world card? I thought we had the world card out here somewhere. Wheel of Fortune. We have the Wheel of Fortune, not the world card. And then um, it says the orbit is 29 years, change sign every two and a half years, retrograde motion once per year for about five months. So it says, when you pull this card, I'm not going to read all this stuff. When you pull this card, Saturn's arriving in a reality check that shines a light on anything that's been cloaked in consciousness or unconsciousness, de unconscious delusions. But have no fear. Whatever is being exposed, however harshly, is asking you to take logical, pragmatic steps to fa face up to it, to face up to it, so you can change or rectify it. See, it's changing. Magician, use the knowledge to manifest change. Um, it says this card can arrive when um, when we feel like things aren't fair, but ask that you trust that you're exactly where you're supposed to be and that whatever constraints and walls are co coming up uh, are meant for your evolution. Consider how, extremely bo how external boundaries can actually inspire you to, towards greater competence. It says, and always where you might need to and also where you might need to be 
uh, to solidify your no's in order to liberate your yeses. Oh, your no's in order to liberate your yeses. Prompt journal. So this is saying to write in the journal 10 things. Listen, I am ready to say no to who? The hardest thing is learning to say no. That is the hardest thing that you can do. To say no without a, um, what is it? An explanation. That's the wisdom. Wisdom to know. The wisdom to know. God grant, grant me the wisdom to know when. Wait, what is it? God, I'm a something. You know, the wisdom. Um, I can't think of what it is, but I'm going to find it. God grant me the serenity to something. That, uh, okay, you guys know what it is? Tell me in the description box. But anyway, this is where you are. You're using this. You have to have discipline. You have to have structure. You have to be responsible. There's difficulties. There's grounding. There's self-control. There's realism. There's um, maturity. Uh, when it comes to you stepping out and using knowledge to manifest change. And in turn, you'll have to walk away from the things that no longer serve you. And I think that's basically what it is. I'll put the uh, name um, in the description. Sometimes you need to tear down limiting structures. Yeah, tear down limiting structures you have built. I think that's what the name will be. All right, you guys. Have a nice night. Like, share, subscribe. Hit the bell notification. Tearing down limiting structures and beliefs. And people sometimes. Bye-bye.